Dragon. It's your boy, hey man. It's your boy, like you. We back with some new heat for y'all today. Like I never left. Heard what she said. Let's get it, man. Episode two. I have force. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because G2. Um, if you want your family to be safe, you need to subscribe because we're gonna be able to protect them if something happened because you wasn't on our subscription list. Thanks. So the double dragon light goes off. It only goes off to subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, you're doing that like <laughs> sneak watching. <laughs> we, ain't be, we ain't gonna be able to save you. Thanks. Talk to him, G. Don't be mad when you're not able to get saved by us. Talk to him. Let him know. But yeah. I still love y'all, though. Much love. E even if you didn't press the subscribe button, I still love you. For it's real. Cool. Are you real for that, G? All right, cool, man. So, what we got? Fire Force. So one was crazy. This the, this the picture you pick for me to sit in front of. That's what they started off with. You can get past the intro when you start it. You don't have to see it. You show the people what I have to sit in front of oh, this whole shit. this whole beginning. Last episode was fire. Um, they ended off with the calendar contest. Realized it wasn't gonna be no women on there. What? The first thing you talk about throughout the episode. That was the ending. That was the ending. You talk about the fighting. Oh, now you don't, you don't want to talk about other stuff. You just want to talk about the calendar. That's why I was upset that it was just men. That's why I, that was the first thing I had to talk about. Yeah, I feel like the whole viewing, well, not the whole viewing world, but most people were very upset that this is, this is what we had to deal with. Exactly. We expected some fire coming after that. Who knows? Maybe they might extend it to this episode. I don't know. But see. it was dope seeing the intro of all the characters that we all fell in love with. And uh, we should be getting some new characters soon. Um, they really didn't show a lot of villains last episode. But I'm mm -hmm. pretty certain that they are on the way. Thanks. But yeah, man. Next episode. I'm ready to get into it. See what happens. You ready to run it up? Let's get it. Should put him on a calendar the way he be having these poses. Put that coat flapping. Do not like that. I got something in my hand. Hey, right to the point. Stranger danger, stranger danger. Play it out. He gonna be on the list in a second. Possessed? Like his conscience messing with him? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Oh, 
Got scratched in the face. How's that fight? Big Mata. He don't care, bro. He said, I feel that. Hey, what's going on now? What is going on? That thing got a taste, so you can't get enough. Oh, he caught them cool. Oh, it's them? First pillar is using Shinra. First pillar is controlling them. He's a buff person. Oh man, come on a sec. <laughs> Where'd they come from? Bro, Shimro they are fighting Shimro, bro. Stuff right now. Exactly. He ain't got nothing there for us. <laughs> he getting exactly what he wanted. He got a healing ability. This episode is wild. Like, yes. It's like too many crazy things happening. He ain't trying to dodge that stuff. Out there in the Ogin. Smart. Captain Smart for saying that. He's been sensing the presence. He looks so weird. Oh, shoot. Arthur <laughs> Block, boy. He blew that whistle, bro. I don't know if he can trust Sinra no more after this. He's like, like, got muscle boosting. Buffs too, like he too fast for him, bro. He low key is a bar. He do got a flute, and hey, that's funny. Yeah. That's the warrior. What they gonna what they gonna call Arthur? He says, <laughs> they, man, eyes are so unique. I like that. Two sanker, that real word in a long time. Yeah, he like super super like skinny, bro. Like he about to die. Arthur with the, the blocks. He, he use him as a shield. He wanna be hit. He like freaking darkness. <laughs> Man, I hope Shimmer will ever become mean. This wouldn't be good for us. She probably messed up saying that. Arthur is not playing. In fact, we delusional. Arthur was just like his dad. <laughs> Trying to get him my sister a blood brother. And we finally seeing the backstory. Came from the slums, bruh. The slum slums. All about perspective, man. That's out. What? He just left him off? Left him? I respect Arthur and his weird hey, like, visions now. Oh. Make these small moves. Names. Oh, Cause you link to somebody. God dang. Hey. Got that Nintendo link. When they trading the little link cables plugged up, when they trading Pokemon, I got the same thing. Let me go. <laughs> Hope you don't go to that like crazy speed. Did he hit himself? On purpose? That'd be cold if he did that. Yeah. Let's go. He got out of it. Go get your rocks off somewhere else. Hey. Women don't love rejection, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> what? Might be that girl that we was uh, seeing. Ah, uh, shoot. Oh, people, okay. So people with the uh, Adola burst are being recognized as pillars. Yeah. That was her. Joe and Shinra, and it's another person who I think is going to be that girl that we've seen multiple times in the openings. The little pink hair girl, who I was saying is like the uh, Fire Force version of like Eerie. Eerie. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying they're going to do exactly what they did with Eerie. I'm just saying, you know. 
This episode was an S tier for me. This stuff was crazy. I didn't think it was gonna heat up like that, bro. I thought it was gonna be a simple conversation. Yeah. We're gonna be asking questions about the Dola Bird. Probably gonna see like a flashback or some more flash forward of a villain. Yeah. And then we end the episode off with like a little small cool thing. You got a whole evil Shinra. We were just talking about evil versions of like MCs. That's crazy, but I just it was hard for me to like believe that Shinra would allow himself to get possessed like kind of that easy. Yeah. In the end, he kind of broke out of it, but it kind of like I don't know. He just kind of happened kind of fast. He got possessed. I I think it might be along the lines of it being this this realm being new to him. He still ain't learned the ins and outs of it. Um, yeah, it's the first time he actually somebody got tried yeah, to possess him. We like we didn't even know that was even possible. Right. But I but I do want to take my hat off to them because I feel like they changed up like. How um Arthur is treated. Arthur oh, first yeah. year, first year Arthur was like every time he did something cool, some silly stuff happened right after. Yeah. But these past two episodes, every time he did something cold, or he showed out, it stayed that way and it's nothing cold. changed. Yeah. Like that's fire to me and stuff. I like how they how they how they're like showing showing him more in in like a better light. And we also got the backstory of the backstory of Arthur. We've seen his dad, we've seen his mom, we've seen him get abandoned by his parents and that's how like the, the night and stuff story started coming like in season one I thought it was just like some random stuff he did yeah but after learning his backstory that all came from that bro I thought he actually came from a royal family he was yeah. like with a with a group of knights with the swords I thought he came from like a rich royal family but it's like that was just his perception or exactly the, the, the uh, world that he was in. I like it, though. Exactly. They had the meal on the table. It was like a poor yeah. meal. and He was imagining it as if a royal knight. Bro, that's yeah, like, real, bro. That if you really grew up in, like, the gutter, you know what I'm saying? I understand that, bro. Yeah. For real. Yeah. And I kind of see myself as, like, royalty in my own sense, too. So I, so I can see where he's coming from, where, like, you can kind of create your narrative. Mm. You don't have to stay in, like, the same system that you pretty much grew up in. So, you know, right. he's trying to get out and do better. And it's just a code that he pretty much follows, too. You know what I'm saying? That's facts. That this dude, was, this man, was, they put a lot of respect on him. This was fire, like, man. Like, besides that weird opening with the old man. Yeah, that was kind of um white van, you want some candy type of yeah. situation. But I understand it because, like, he got a taste of that Adula Burst. And yeah. He was just like, bro, I need these flames. Yeah, like, a shimmer won't understand that because I think the original, normal people that try to go in there, they they's gonna get messed up or they're gonna have to sacrifice something. Yeah. You know, burns with his eyes, stuff like that yeah. too. So Yeah. You gotta understand it from their perspective. It was crazy. We met Ogan. Yeah. For the first time we're seeing he's seen he cold. I, I, that's cool. I like his vibe so far. I wonder why they still there. Like I I don't know if they part of the fourth or they still recruits. Like that's that's the understanding the understanding I needed to get. It was working out with them. So yeah. I don't know if they part of the fourth or they just Recruit still like trying to get into one of the um the divisions, but I guess yeah. we'll see going yeah. forward. Let's we'll see. But this is dope, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Yeah, ready for the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure I check these videos out on our Patreon before we put them on YouTube. Back, double checking out. Peace.